right, so we spent a lot of time working with other horses, um, colts that were breaking and stuff. So every once in a while, I like to go spend some time with my own horse. Today, I'm actually gonna take her on a ride. We're gonna go, not exactly sure yet. We'll just find out once we get going. Um, her name's Lex and we've raised her since she was a baby. Um, actually, the other day I was riding her with just a rope around her neck, just a um, blue bailing twine. Since I was only riding with this string, I'll just use that same string to take her back to her pen. So I'll start, I'll just double it over, um, make a loop, just like that at the end. And then I'll take this around. I'll come to the side so you can see. I'll take this around, I'll put this loop back through. So it's like that. And I'll bring this loop around her nose. And I have just a little lead rope. It's not something you can put on a colt in your training like we were doing earlier, but something like a mare like this that you've been out working with or she gets out of the pen and she's eating the hay, then you can just throw something like this on. Um, and you've always got bailing twine around, at least we do. Um, so you can just throw it on your horse, take her back to her pen, and then carry on. And she was doing awesome with that, but she could always use a little more training, a little bit more time, and a little bit more experience. So that's what we're giving her today. Remember to like and subscribe to the Farm on Race 66 and follow us on all of our rides. Freezing is? Yep. Yeah, 
you're just in the saddle. Yeah, I looked up where I had to step up to and it was about right here. I'm like, there's no way I'm getting up there. Who rode it last? I don't know. Okay, so we wanted to go for a fall ride. We're a little bit late. Usually those cottonwoods up there. Um, just a week ago, they had a lot of yellow and green and orange leaves on them, but now almost everything's lost their leaves. Um, it's all starting to turn yellow for the winter. Um, it was snowing a teeny bit a little ago, a little while ago. Um, but this is our wash. It, it just got re, um, not redug, but somebody has a field right over here and so they had to rebuild their dike so that nothing flooded or the if the wash got too high when it ruined their alfalfa fields but it's pretty cold out here today but i i enjoy being out here on my horse um i've got gloves on and two jackets on and boots and my hoodies up but I, there's still some of the fall colors and I, I just love the look of it see here's the colors I was talking about this tree for some reason hasn't lost all of its leaves like the others but you can see it's lost a lot of them. There's a ton on the ground, but I just love this color. Uh, when the trees turn this color and all the grass starts turn this color. And, but then at the same time, I sure love it when it's green too, because that means a lot of food for the horses. All oh, right up here in this tree, there's actually a hawk. We'll see how close we get. It's a big old hawk. That was cool. See, here's that alfalfa field I was talking about. They actually just cut the hay for the last time. You can kind of see it in the rows. They'll get it all raked together, or I guess it is all raked together, and then, then they'll bale it up and have hay for the horses and cows for the winter.
That's a crazy looking tree right there with those spine things on it. Those barbs out of her. That's poking an eye out right there. Shoot. And of course Bella tagged along. She'll be having puppies in about, she's due in about two days. <laughs> Um, so she could really have puppies any day, but she loves being out and about with me, and so she, she tagged along. Alright, I'm going to head on back. Made it all the way down to the railroad tracks. They actually just dug this out this year so that more water can go through when the wash runs. Um, I'm going to head on back home. I'm literally freezing. It's cold as can be out here. Um, but it's been a fun ride and so we'll show you what it's like on the way home. I, I just really love the colors and I love being out on my horse and just getting to work with her a little bit more so that's always fun. Girl, good girl. All right, well, I just got back from my ride with Lex, um, but I'm headed right back down the road. I got to go feed Chipper um, and Booger, her baby. Okay, so this is where we're keeping Chipper and Booger right now. And we just set a bale right over here in the bushes. And I'll just come by once a day and give them a couple flakes. They still got a little bit of grass out there. And then we bring them a can of grain as well. Um, a lot of times I didn't bring one this time. I may bring one later. But we're just trying to make sure st she stays healthy as she's nursing a baby. And that the baby gets all the milk and nutrients it needs. Alright, there you go. 